Welcome. We have three more crafting locations to go. I'm going to show you guys the Yeoman now, or however you explain it. Uh, it gives us the introdu introduction to farming quest. So we have um, cook, tailor, and farmer. I will show you farmer first because I've shown the other two already. So that if you have seen the previous videos, you can just well, you only need um, to watch the first part of this video. So first, we need to head to some fields. In this case, they are in Stadel. Uh, the nearest fields are in Stadel, so you just have to take a horse over there. That's this is my least favorite crowding vocation because those people have to walk so much and have to get to get their ingredients. Um, but well, yeah, I I love good cooks in the game too. So if you are good at it, yeah, you can make good food, give good bonuses to other players which is very useful especially in the heart rates so yeah cooks are definitely important okay so we got to Ponto Underhill he's gonna give us an introduction to farming we get a crate from him that gives us an apprentice crop seed a bucket of water and a handful of fertilizer. Now using these ingredients we have, we have to plant a yellow onion field. So you have to be in the field and you have to uh, plant some stuff. So we need our farming tools first. Those are right here. So I think we can... Oh no, we need... This is a vegetable farmland, apparently. Yeah, I'm new to this too. So we're gonna plant vegetables here, and I think we can plant um, grain in grain fields, for example. Okay, so we plant the yellow onion fields, which we can uh, collect, and we must activate the track crop skills. Using the skills we have, uh, we have to pick a yellow. Or a yellow onion at the workbench. So we just still have our farming tools equipped and we just pick uh, a yellow onion. Now we've done that, so we can just talk to him again, finish the introduction to farming. So you'll need different fields. For example, you have vegetable fields, you have grain fields, so you always have to check which kind of field it is that you're standing on and well, yeah, you just need the ingredients that you just saw, uh, of which you can buy most. I think you can buy all of them at the suppliers. And that's about it. Okay, now we'll head back to the crafting hall so I can show you how to cook and how to um, make uh, clothes, how to be a tailor. Okay, so the crafting guild is over there. I'm really looking forward to doing quests again because this is just explaining and explaining and explaining. Uh, okay, um, my quest will be coming soon. So we get back into the crafting hall. Um, I'll show you guys cooking. So you just need some um, cooked gear, 
we have that now. And uh, you go to cook. Let's see. Uh, for eggs and onions, we need a chicken egg as well. Those are sold by suppliers and uh, vendors. So we're just gonna head to the supplier. Search for an egg. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, was it just called an egg? Chicken egg. So we'll have to watch the C. There it is. Okay. So we buy a chicken egg. It's not uh, expensive as you can see. You just go up to the oven where you just make eggs and onions. Easy as that. Uh, so we're, there we go. Uh, that's it about cooking. So you just need the ingredients, an oven and your cooking supplies. You can also do it at a campfire which is very useful. Then we also have tailor. A tailor needs, yeah well I don't have uh, brush letters so I'm very sorry but I can only show you it without doing it myself. So the tailor needs for example the tailor crafts light and medium armor and also cloaks. So for example if we want to craft this rough clo cloak we need uh, two brush letters and one bolt of rough cloth. These bolts can be bought at suppliers and vendors. And the brush light letters you'll have to buy those at the auction hall if you're a yeoman because they can't craft themselves. Or you will need an other account that is also a forester. Uh, with those ingredients, you just equip your tailor tools, make it all you need are the ingredients, the tailor tools, and the workbench. Um, so that's it for Yeoman, uh, thank you for watching and good luck making some food and stuff, uh, yeah thanks for watching, see you next time.